we kick off today with our spotlight on science. Here with more from his late breaking presentation on anatomic lung resection versus wedge resection for stage 1A non small cell lung cancer is Dr. Christopher Cedar. We um, wondered if the trial data that we've seen recently in the CALGB as well as the JCOG trials would apply to the general population in routine clinical practice. And so what we did was look at 32,000 patients from the STS General Thoracic Surgery Database that were uh, linked to the National Death Index for long-term outcomes and also linked to CMS data for long-term outcomes. We had two primary endpoints. First was overall survival. Second was lung cancer specific survival. Now in the trials, we saw that uh, sublobar and lobar resections were non-inferior or equivalent. Um, and in some cases, the sublobar resections were actually superior to lobectomy. Well, what we found in real world um, clinical practice data is that in the STS general thoracic surgery database that actually wedge resections seem to be driving inferior outcomes for sublobar resection compared to lobectomy. And with that, um, we're presenting our, our data today. I think that it's very important that these data that we're presenting today are viewed as complementary, not uh, contradictory to the trials. There's significantly less nodes being removed in patients who uh, have sublobar resections, specifically wedge resections. 20% of wedge resections had no lymph nodes removed at all. There was less nodal upstaging. There was, there was less nodes sampled uh, with wedge resection compared to anatomic resections. With over 32,000 patients that we've examined in routine clinical practice, um, we believe these data are quite powerful and quite informative. And I think that the takeaway is you have to follow trial protocol if you want to have tri similar results as seen in the trial. But also importantly, this doesn't give surgeons free reign to be able to wet, perform a wedge resection on any patient. Um, now, can I say that based on these data that wedge resections are bad for all patients? No, absolutely not. Now, where the database is going is from a short-term database to both a short-term and long-term database. As we're incorporating long-term outcomes, we're beginning to now um, uh, change the data, the data that we actually collect in order to better predict and prognosticate long-term outcomes in these lung cancer resection patients. One of the things that we know from the STS database is that uh, patients have excellent short-term outcomes. Um, are there other important things to remember about surgery is that we can provide nodal sampling and nodal dissections for ac ad adequate staging, and we can also provi provide definitive pathology. These are all things that radiation does not allow in a patient's care. I think if nothing else, the data that we're presenting today can be used as a um, call to action for multidisciplinary uh, oncology teams, thoracic oncology teams, to uh, enroll patients, especially high-risk patients, in trials that uh, look at surgery versus uh, non-operative approaches for sub-2-centimeter non-small cell lung cancers.